These are termites on a piece of wood. These single-celled organisms live inside termites. The question of how they got there has an interesting evolutionary answer. The story begins with plants. Plant cells have a cell wall that is composed of cellulose. Cellulose is composed of sugar molecules linked together into a chain. Recall that sugar is the primary food for animal cells. Any animal that could break apart the cellulose of plants into simple sugar molecules would have an advantage in the struggle for life. But as it happens, no animal has yet evolved the necessary digestive protein. In other words, animals cannot digest cellulose, and so cellulose is not nutritional for them. This makes the termite diet something of a puzzle. For termites eat wood, and this seems to keep them alive. The solution to the puzzle is what you are looking at right now. The organisms inside the termite intestines do make the necessary digestive protein to break down cellulose. They break apart the cellulose into simple sugars to be used by the single-celled organisms as food. However, some of the sugar is released into the intestine and is absorbed by the termite. Thus, when termites eat wood, they are supplying their intestinal guests with food. In return for safe harbor and a meal, the organisms release some of the sugar for use by the termite. Both species benefit from this interaction. When two species live in close association like this, it is called symbiosis. The symbiotic relation between the termite and its intestinal guests allowed ancestral termites to enter a new niche. Since other animals were unable to digest cellulose, termites could reduce competition for food by adding wood to their diet. A possible scenario is as follows. Microscopic organisms had already evolved the ability to digest cellulose. And then some termites ingested the organisms, who remained alive in their intestines. It was a party for everyone involved. Originally, the cellular guests simply fed on the food that ancestral termites were eating. But in time, a mutant termite expanded its diet to include dead wood, and it was nutritional because of the work of its internal guests. Such mutant termites had a reproductive advantage, and so began the evolutionary adventure of wood-eating termites. It is important to point out that each species was evolving changes, not for the benefit of members of the other species, but because individuals of each species were better off by cooperating in this symbiotic way.